Hey, in this episode, I'm going to do a product review and an unboxing. I ordered a new camera off of eBay. And when I order off of eBay, especially uh, high-end technical equipment, I'm a little bit apprehensive. So we're going to do a product review on this particular camera. It's a Canon XF100. Yep, it's a duplicate. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I've got this box that was just delivered by the U.S. Postal Service. I ordered it last week uh, off of eBay. It's a Canon XF100. Uh, those of you who have been watching my show will recognize that name because um, my first camera was a Canon XF100. It went to the shop three times the last time it bit the dust. So... I had to, luckily I replaced it with this other camera, which is what I'm filming on right now, which is also a Canon XF100. So I wanted two cameras, yeah, but the other one bit the dirt. So I went ahead and ordered my second camera. So when I get into more production and more shows that I want to film, um, yeah, we'll talk about all that later, but I just needed, I, I wanted a second camera to do special things. So let's let's open the box, look at the camera, and put it together and see if it's going to work. Okay. Ooh. Lots and lots of those peanuts. Customer support. That's a good thing. They offer that. But the camera is buried under all these peanuts. Now, this camera cost $500 and some change. They retail for a couple of thousand dollars. And I got this one. It didn't have the, the lens. Um shroud for it. it did not have batteries it does not have cables it's just no frills just the camera but that's okay because when my other camera broke down i took all those things off of it and i saved it aside thinking that maybe if i find another camera it might not have those things with it so i decided to set those aside and that's exactly what I did. I set them aside and put them in this into little Ziploc bags. Now, here's the uh, the lens cover I was talking about that I saved from my other camera. Here's the camera strap I saved. Here's the lens cap. I also have an extra remote control that operates the camera. I have an official Canon battery, which this camera did not come with. Another battery charger. I also have two of the Extreme Pro SD cards that go with the camera for recording on. And I'm going to duplicate all the information on the camera I'm filming on right now onto this flash drive. And this will make the other camera run exactly like this camera that you're seeing here. So it's automatically programmed. So I also have an extra tri heavy duty tripod with dollies on it so I can roll it around. So I've got everything for this camera. So let's, let's look at the camera. And that's all we're getting is just, just the camera. That's it. Nothing more. Just the Canon XF100. Now 
okay? Now, fortunately, it comes with the strap, so I do not have to use this strap unless the next camera I get doesn't have this strap. I could use it. So let's go ahead and put the SD cards in there. This takes the sand disk and these are the Extreme Pro 64s. We're going to go ahead and slide those in. Be careful which way you slide them in. They only go in one way. Don't force them in the uh, way that they don't go. You just shut your little hatches there. We'll flip that over. We'll open this up here. And this side takes a, uh, a sand disk, one of these. And that's what this side takes. So you slide that in there. And that one records photographs because you can take pictures with this camera. And it also pro has programmed the uh, shutter speed, the uh, uh, the uh, frame rate, everything else is recorded onto there. Put my lens cover on. Put my lens shroud on. Let's put the lens shroud on first. Let's cover. Make sure the battery has power. Yep, this has a little bit of power to it. Stick it in there. And it's on. Okay, that battery was too low, so it didn't have enough juice in it to function. So I got my bigger battery fresh off the charger. So we'll go ahead and flip that in, turn this on, and it fires up. And we've got, we got images. So far, so good. It works. Let's see what it looks like. It wants me to set, set, I'll set the date. See, got to set the date. Okay, got the date all set. Let's see if we can uh, videotape something here. All right, we got recording. I don't know what the sound looks like, but let's see how this works. And uh, see if I've got a second camera like I've wanted for ever okay not disappointed Canon XF 100 camcorder got two of them this will be my third one uh, would eventually like a third one so when I set up a studio uh, interview here in my library I can do two cameras one on each person I'm uh, interviewing and then the third camera for the wide-angle shot so I it uh, reduces the amount of post-production time instead of having to get up and digitally um, uh, move it or even uh, physically move the camera around so this is going to help me a lot 
in reducing time for making these shots. I'm just happy I, I, I saved all my pieces from my other camera because this camera didn't have it. So stay tuned for some awesome videos coming your way. Yeah, and some special projects, really special projects. And there's uh, some big announcements coming too. Yeah, really soon. Stay tuned to those. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen, in a product review and unboxing on a Canon XF100 video HD camera. Stay tuned to more videos. You can do that by subscribing, clicking that bell icon that alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Give me a thumbs up, click that share button. Sharing my videos on your social media platforms really helps out the channel a lot. Be safe, always be kind. We'll see you guys in my next adventure. I'm one happy camper. Nice. Bye-bye now.